This is Ruined King, a League of Legends story. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So what are we getting here? It's 1080p at 30 FPS, which is really, really visibly present. It seems like it almost runs in like a bit of slow motion, which might just be like the style of gameplay. It's, it's a bit odd. So this one was supposed to get like a next gen update. And honestly, I think it's been about a year since this one came out almost. We're getting close to that. And I still do not see that this one has been given an update. I remember even doing emails back and forth when this one released about, yeah, they're going to do an update later on. And it's just, it's so strange. Because you would think that something like this would be able to run, especially when you see the, the turn-based gameplay, right? That this would be able to run at much, much higher settings on the consoles. And it's just, they haven't done the update yet, which is very, very disappointing. So yeah, this is a single-player story set within the... League of Legends universe. It is where you unite a party of League of Legends champions, explore Bilgewater, and set sail for the Shadow Isles to uncover the secrets of the deadly Black Mist. Ooh. So there's some like, I think there's like some DLC type stuff with like Poro things or something like that. We're just gonna skip through dialogue. That's kind of how the, the story gets conversed. And then you also get these cinematic bits where it's like, I guess you would say, Animated? Well, yeah, it's animation, cartoon-esque style. So you build your own party, forge different strategies by combining your elite players, and then it's a turn-based battle system as you are seeing here along the way. I gotta say, this game would look really nice with a little bit of a resolution bump up, and a higher frame rate would be, like, pretty top-notch for this one. Love tap. Fancy footwork. Let's do the love tap. But, you know, typical League of Legends stuff, you know, the same aesthetic visually, uh, lovely music, totally fits within the world that you kind of would likely know if you're a League of Legends player or fan, I guess you would say. It's gonna eventually die. It's about time. And then you just go back and forth shooting each other. It's, you know. Oh, you can also increase the combat speed if you want to do something a little bit more wild. Yeah, and it just goes by a lot quicker, which is nice. You can flee the battles if you need to. Yeah, it's just kind of exploring the bustling city, discovering the mysteries, and then battling along. Low on mana. Oh no. I want faster combat speed. Heartbreaker! That looked pretty cool. A little, little overly stylized, but it makes sense. So the lane initiative system, choose your approach for each encounter and change the course of the battle by tweaking the speed of your actions and reacting to environmental events and everything like that. Weren't we just with somebody else? Why weren't we fighting together? Maybe it's like a one thing at a time kind of style. But yeah, typically not personally a huge fan of turn-based games. This one is interesting to take a look at, though, because it does fit into the League of Legends initiative of, like, a bazillion different types of games that they're working on. Really building out the universe, what can I say? What a lovely execution. This is the kind of lady that I would want to hang out with. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Welcome to my crew. Or even whisper... Yes, Captain. So yeah, it's this mix of, like, regular movement situations and then turn-based combat gameplay. Another successful recruit. But none of their leader. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bilge water... Lots of loading. I mean, it doesn't take too long, but definitely lots of loading. It's uh, certainly developed, I would say, for the, uh, the last-gen consoles, right? <gasps> uh oh. We've got ourselves a turn based battle against a ghost. Uh 
No, I guess ghosts are just as easy to kill as regular people. An introduction to Runeterra, start exploring a rich history of League of Legends and the extraordinary stories of the champions. <gasps> is that what this is? I mean, that's what it notes in the description. Hmm. How is this possible? Ah, uh, yes, I'm supposed to know exactly what the Black Mist is. I mean, we're all aware of this. We've all played so much League of Legends, it totally makes sense. But how did it get here? Oh no, not this dude. I love how it even does that, like, retro, like, fade-in thing. Should have done it against the Mistwalker Sailor there, eh? Oh no, I did get it, okay. Finish that one off. Ghosts, easy to kill. Seriously though, imagine this. Higher resolution, higher frame rate. This would be top notch. Top notch. I mean, it's still actually pretty good, but yeah. That's a fatality on that thing. Should we look for clues? What do you think he was gonna take his time dying? He's not like Bond. He's got no time to die. Or well, I guess it works both ways. Anyways, he's got lots of time to die. Oh, it's totally gonna just Final Fantasy me. Fantasy me constantly, isn't it? Bang! Down you go. An easy victory. Huh? <gasps> Someone needs my aid. I will defend you against this ghost dog? Spectral wharf rat. Okay. You can see their different ability things. It's easier just to literally pick the random different things and shoot at them. Ow. Oh, I thought that would kind of finish them both off. I guess I'm not that lucky. And another victory for this sassy captain. Capturing the hearts of our crew. Raffin's probably dead. Okay. No need for the tutorial. It's a freaking map. <laughs> no, I don't need a tutorial for the... Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, a, not an idiot. Okay. Okay, so I, I wanted not the map. I, I want no. That's literally that's just what it does to the tutorial thing. Okay. I'm like trying to find out where you would do. Okay, there it is. Your your health. I'm like. We need to get that health going up, right? Yeah, I do find the pacing of the character to be very slow. It's a bit awkward. Bite the mist. <gasps> no, it's Raffin! Are you mad that I waited two minutes even though I saw you down the hallway and I went to this other room to help these other dudes? Oh no, not another spectral set of wharf rats. Whatever will we do? KO. Nice and easy, what can I say? Ain't nothing to this league professional. I league all day. I fight the lanes. That was what you'd call a wombo combo. 
Oh yeah. Sarah. Ain't no League of Losers out here, I tell ya. No siree. I don't know. But if it is, we're going to need a Lawi. Fight the mist and find survivors. Load in. Always loading into the league. More like the League of Loaders. <laughs> league of Loading. Brothers and sisters, a new yeah, cinematic, blah blah blah. Look at the giant shark thing. These streets are full of motion. Mega Kaboro smiles upon us. Why do you embrace this foreigner's priestess? The Belangi do not respect the goddess or Buru tradition. They make their own way. They fight to live, walk among them, learn from them, maybe even have some fun. They have many interesting desires. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their talents. Do not be ashamed. Next time I will join you. Now let us follow the rhythms of the street. Here, the men inside spoke recently of the killer we seek. We will wait outside. <laughs> Ooh. Now we have a new perspective. Let me just hold this giant skull. Really, we had that long of a segment just to sit here and load. We need a captain. Oh, she's got like a giant tentacle thing. That is utterly fascinating. Little man, tell who's asking. I am allowing. <laughs> sure, lady. And perhaps a display of sorry. At so. Do you see this sword? Ooh. I thought. <gasps> now it's a turn-paced battle. Actually, it would be more interesting if the combat was done in-game like that. Fatality. So she's got like astral tentacle things. No, I dig it. It's it's cool. It's neat actually. I love her big tentacle attack in regular combat. Is that how you like surprise sneak attack? attack people? Is use the tentacle hit in the real world? No one I know is actually sick. They say he ain't alive. Not alive. His skin like a corpse. A creature trapped between life and death. Be, uh... Thank you, little. Hey, you, uh, what? <laughs> Search the Warrens. I wish there was, like, a. Is there, like, a sprint option? Because I gotta say, they, they move, like, painful. It's like a slow motion kind of move. We had commotion. My new Peilangi friends simply wish to learn Burhu tradition. Search the Warrens. I'm going the wrong way. Is this the way? Yes, this is the way to the Warrens. Okay, let's roll. Yeah, definitely got a bit of a slow move. Painfully awkward. Oh, look, we have a whole crew now. Well 
Oh, it's kind of a neat system because everybody eventually you get enough of a party going both ways and you take more hits back and forth. You can actually get some pretty lined up and kind of chain little battle scenarios going on where it, like certain parts of the the lane setup you like fight at. Oh, that's that's a neat concept. A shrine of healing. Oh yeah. that do anything hitting them off the bat there? Oh, it kind of damaged them a little bit. Okay. Oh, that person's taking a lot of hits. They're really low level enemies, it's just easier to smoke them and get over with. And <laughs> get it all over with. Is this where we're headed? Oh, we, we, we're definitely headed this way, okay. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Mm. Killing you would be fun. But meaningless. No. Forsaken one, do you think I am offering you a choice? They must be tested to grow. Ooh, this person can actually take some damage. You enter the mother serpents in place. It's kind of a waste of an attack there, to be honest. All he can do is just punch. That's not very helpful. I can't believe our one teammate got like knocked out right away. Let's do the back and forth vicious hits. Taste the tentacle, Black Harbor Ripper. Got him. It's pretty close, but you know, whatever. Goddess, 